Asia K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello everyone, welcome to mobile application uh, basic sessions. So this is Prasad. Let me introduce myself. I am having more than 8 years of experience in software testing. As part of my career, I work with manual testing, automation testing with uh, multiple tools like QTP, Selenium, Test Complete. And also I am having good experience with uh, mobile application testing as well. As part of mobile application testing, I work with uh, both Android as well as iOS. So I will be taking care of your uh, mobile application testing basic sessions. This is a five day sessions. So what I will do is first I will talk about that what we are going to discuss in this five days. Then we will start with the course. And during that sessions whenever if you have doubt you can always ping me in the chat window. First give me that schedule like what is the plan. So this is the sound again. Ra. What an actual step level on ignore leather and in Japan. I think I'm going to Japan and I'm going to. So we are this is a Friday session. This is a this is a Friday session sessions and then in this session we will be learning mobile application testing introduction testing introduction then mobile application strategy so as I said like if you guys are having any doubt you can always ping me in the chat window and I will try to answer all the queries mobile application strategy mobile application test cases how to write the test cases then I will talk about that uh, emulator, how to create that Android emulator, I will show these things. Okay. And also I will give you introduction to web services. And this is the plan for our uh, sessions. So let's start with the first session like mobile application testing basics introduction. So the first question comes into the mind is like why we need to learn this course? Why is this important? Why we need to learn this? So let me tell you one thing. See mobile applications nowadays if you see in the industry everyone is talking about that mobile applications. Like current current situation, current generation and also in the next generation also the complete IT will be in the mobile applications. Just take a simple example. Now we are having so many participants in the okay so now right here right we are having so many participants in the sessions let me let me make let me share the screen once again my presenter is gone let me yeah yes 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 i'm, I'm sharing the screen once again one second please there is some problem one second let me share the screen once again now hope you can see now okay now you can see right okay fine now you can see right yes now you can see actually right uh, there was some problem okay okay fine let's continue so right see now if you see right here right we are having so many participants in the session now in this participants right few of them probably you might have used your uh, mobile to connect to the session see now, right now what is happening is only few users are using your mobiles to connect to the sessions or if you want to do some transfer money transfer if you want to do some money transfer to your friends probably right nowadays very few members are using to transfer the money down the line almost everyone will use this mobile phones to do the transactions so nowadays right everyone is talking about this mobile 
that's why i said here is like current and next generation current generation it's mobile application and next generation is completely into your uh, mobile application and also probably right now if you want to register with hdk infosys you are using your uh, like web application you are opening your uh, h2k infosys.com in your web application and then try to register it now we already done with this h2k infosys app and that will be released in few days and you can you can register with h2k infosys directly with the mobile app because everyone is trying to do with the mobile app only so nowadays me you and everyone they they wanted to do all the activities within their uh, smartphone itself that's the reason i wanted to understand and also i want to take this opportunity for my career as well now now you can ask me okay so this is under all mobile apps so where is the testing comes into picture so wherever the application development is there there will be testing right if you are doing some application development obviously there will be some testing just imagine that like right if you are developing some banking app and if you are not testing that app and if that app is crashing during your payment what is the point of developing that app just think logically so right whenever there is a development obviously there will be a testing and also that too let me tell you one more point here testing will be a huge scope because developers what they will do they will develop the application but as a tester you have to make sure that the app is working with each and every device because if you see in the market how many devices are there in the market like thousands of the devices are there in the market so as a tester we will not test with all the devices but yes you need to test uh, most popular devices with your application so testing will be testing scope will be huge for any app okay let's talk about that uh, i mean right in detail in the later sessions now i understand that why i need to learn this course first first point is done next one is what is the prerequisites so i wanted to learn this course what is the prerequisites so for this manual testing basics is done is good don't take the notes kavita please don't take the notes please not required i will be sending this uh, ppts with you guys so don't take the notes not required okay so here like right manual testing basics is the prerequisites for your mobile application testing again this is not mandatory if you are a fresher also still right you can uh, start with your mobile application testing if you know how to use your smartphone that means you are uh, eligible for your uh, mobile application tester position nowadays like almost everyone know that how to use the smartphone so usage in the sense just not like uh, calling and uh, Uh, messaging so you you need to understand the complete like uh, operating system of your mobile then if you know that how to use your smartphone that means you are eligible for your mobile application tester position okay okay uh, i'm not getting neha your question okay i'm going very slow neha and also like right in this ppt is right i'm giving you like uh, very what do you call very basic definitions so anyone can easily understand this is a simple language so what you can is once you get this ppt you can go through that ppts and also i am recording the sessions through fast tone so probably right you will not face any audio issues so that you can go through that videos as well okay and again if you are doing this if you are taking this notes right what will happen is it's a multitasking so obviously right anyone is doing the multitasking means right probably right there is a chance to miss something so don't do that let's please give your attention and then if you have any queries with that particular topic please let me know and then this course duration right this course duration is like right it's divided into two parts one is your basics basics is nothing but it's a four to five hour sessions for your basics that is what we are learning here and then we are having advanced right advanced that is nothing but you are like around 12 hours right this advanced is 12 hours including your cloud based testing and your uh, web services testing and your automation testing fine let's come back so what is mobile application testing so mobile application testing is nothing but it is similar to software testing what we will do in the web application testing the same thing we'll do in the mobile application but in the mobile application testing testing will be done on a mobile device instead of testing the 
application meaning say let me open one simple application so let me open one uh, simple application so when when you are opening your uh, application in your mobile uh, you can see like this so just i'm assuming that this is the mobile okay that means right now as a tester what is my job so if you are testing this application in your desktop that is called your uh, web application testing but here you are testing this application in your mobile so it is called mobile application testing let me show you the same application if i open in the desktop how it looks like this is your desktop application this is your desktop application but when it comes to that mobile it look like this so as a tester what i will do is i will be testing this application in my mobile in my mobile okay that is nothing but your mobile application testing mobile application testing is nothing but you are testing the application in a mobile device okay then like right uh, many people will say that uh, mobile testing some people will say that mobile testing some people will say that mobile application testing what is the difference between mobile testing and mobile application testing let me tell you the difference between your mobile testing and mobile application testing here mobile testing is nothing but you are testing the handsets when you are testing the handsets that is called your mobile testing okay no meena like right what i am doing is i just opened here so meena is asking so meena right what i did is right i minimized my browser to my mobile so that right you can feel that this is a mobile okay so here right i minimized actually you can see here this is that just wanted to show you like once you open that application in your mobile how it looks like okay fine now let's try to understand what is the difference between your mobile application testing and your mobile testing so mobile testing is nothing but testing the handsets that means now say for example like right if apple is releasing iphone 6 to the market so before before releasing that uh, iphone 6 to the market there will be a lot of testing on the device to make sure that this device core functionalities are working fine what is device core functionalities such as your uh, call call i mean making a call receiving a call sms connectivity like bluetooth wifi video calling network battery so these kind of things so so what what we will do is right so whenever if you are testing that handsets that is called your mobile testing and to perform this mobile testing you may need some technical skills because here uh, mobile testing means right there will be a lot of protocols involved so testing this mobile devices you need some technical skills so we are not touching that mobile testing and that too let me tell you one more point you are having huge opportunities in the mobile app testing than your mobile testing because devices right like uh, iphone will release i mean apple will release one device once in a while so mobile testing will be like uh, less only however mobile app testing means like you are having huge opportunities and also day by day like you are having like thousands of uh, apps are coming into the market when you say that mobile app testing mobile app testing is nothing but testing the applications inside the device now you have your uh, iphone 6 and then what you will do you will be installing one application and then you will work on it that is called your mobile app testing say for example if you guys are uh, having your iphone and then if you want to transfer your money what you will do you will install your uh, apps like say for example if you are having bank of america you will install that bank of america app into your device and then start transferring the funds that means here you are installing the app inside the device so mobile app testing is nothing but testing the applications inside the device that is called your mobile app testing here we are learning mobile app testing okay and also like usually right when you go to the interview there is a common question what is the difference between your mobile testing and your mobile app testing that is why i wanted to tell you this before going to the next topics okay so here we discuss that what is mobile testing and what is mobile application testing okay fine then 
I wanted to discuss okay we got one more query yeah so Neha right here mobile testing is nothing but you are testing the handsets you are testing the handsets that means if you are having a new device like Samsung S4 so before releasing that Samsung S4 there will be a lot of testing on that device whether the device features are working correctly or not what is your core functionalities of the device like calling SMS connectivity like your Wi-Fi is working your Bluetooth is working your video calling is working in the device and your network is working in the device so this is nothing but your mobile testing and to test it to test it uh, like you need some uh, technical skills for this mobile testing because to check this connectivity and all you need to have some knowledge in your protocols so we're not touching that mobile testing and we are going to the mobile apps testing and anyway we have like more opportunities in mobile apps testing as well okay yeah no problem now now the next thing is I wanted to discuss what are all the different applications in your uh, mobiles that means see if you are talking about your uh, normal uh, software testing what you will do you will say that windows application web application like this similarly in mobile also we are having different different applications like you are having native applications hybrid applications and mobile web applications that means you are having three types of applications in your mobile world so we can use native application we can use hybrid application or we can use mobile web application okay so so here like right we need to understand what is native what is hybrid and what is mobile web and also I will tell you what kind of situation we will go to each and every application okay and one more thing I'm requesting you guys like right don't raise your hands if you have any queries please ping me in the chat window because we are having like uh, many number of participants so it is difficult to like uh, take the individual queries so however like if you have any queries you can always ping me in the chat window please now now here the, I wanted to understand different uh, right, different applications mobile applications that means now whenever if you want to develop your mobile applications so you can develop your native applications or hybrid application or mobile web so when user will go to native application hybrid application mobile web now we will discuss first we will discuss what is what is native applications right so native applications is nothing but right name indicates native that means whenever the mobile applications are built using the native programming language that means in a simple term simple term right whenever if you are having an android device if you have an android device what will happen you will go to play store and you will be downloading that apps right those are native applications native applications means it's a specific to the platform so like right so if you are a beginner so you can uh, define simple terms like this so here I can say that my native application is nothing but it's a specific to the platform okay you want full huh? okay but if I show full problem is okay where is my notepad oh okay fine so here right native applications is nothing but simple terms you can say that specific to platform if you go to your uh, iPhone you will go to App Store and you will be downloading that apps those are specific to iPhone only those apps cannot be downloaded in your Android and vice versa if you have apps in your Android that cannot be downloaded in your iPhone because these are specific to platform and these are called your native applications native applications is nothing but it's a specific to platform and technically you can define like this apps will be developed in the native programming language this is the like what you call technical def uh, technical definition however like right uh, if you want to understand the basic uh, definition you can say that native is nothing but it's a specific to 
platform that means if you develop android native application that means that is accessible only for android devices you cannot access in any other devices and here and here like right as i said when you want to develop your native applications you will be using native programming language and if you are an android developer right if you are an android developer you will be using java to develop your android applications so any android developer must know java because they will be writing the code in java to develop the application as a tester you should know what language they will use i don't want to understand like why they will use and i want to know what kind of language they will use for the application development and if it is a iphone applications or you can say that ios application right they will be using objective c objective c is the language used by the ios developers to develop their applications okay so here see native application is nothing but it's a specific to platform and apps will be developed in the native programming language and then like if it is android they will be using java to develop the application that means java is the native programming language for your android and objective c is the native programming language for your ios now you can ask me okay when i will go to the native application and what is the advantage of it so here see native application means like whenever you need a rich user interface so say for example my client came to me just imagine like right we are planning to develop h2k infosys app and rao came to me and he said that he want to develop the h2k infosys app when as a client he is saying that he want to develop h2k infosys app then i will ask him what kind of app is looking for right so whenever he is looking for this kind of things whenever like right this is whenever he is looking for rich user interface and heavy graphics in the app okay that means right this kind of situation it's always better to go with your native application can anyone tell me like uh, where you need this heavy graphics and rich user interface what kind of applications you will prefer for your native tell me anyone can tell me see this should be like right it's a interactive session not like yes that's correct right gaming application that's a best example right best example see what if you see this games right like uh, in the games you should have lot of uh, like uh, heavy graphics and then you will have lot of pictures a lot of images so if you want to do this games right the best uh, the best way is native application so if you see any of the games applications most of the right uh, most of the applications will be developed in native only any more any more example games is the best example that's i agree yes yes darani that's correct shopping website see consumer focused applications right so now right i want to go with this right rich user interface that means right whenever i want to go with my consumer focused applications that means right i am developing one application where i wanted to attract my customers like you are uh, any website if you take like right where you want to attract your customers in the what you call online this kind of situation what i will do i want to have like good look and feel good user interface rich user interface so what i will do is i will be going with my native application because native application looks looks very good and then like what will happen is in the native applications whatever the image you are using it will come as it is in the mobile there should not be even a single blur it will come as it is so you will not lose even as even a like a 1% of the information of your image it will come as it is that is why like this kind of uh, what you call rich user interface or consumer focused applications oh, oh. so usually this kind of applications i will prefer to go with my native okay and one more participant is asking what is objective c objective c is the language which is used by the ios developer to develop ios applications it's a native programming language for your ios yes